you need but in future before you do any background scan you should use a piece of tissue paper with alcohol and wipe the surface for the solid sample so now we click on the measurement and you see that right in the middle there's an icon start background scan the resolution should be about 4 scan time 16 these are the default adjustments so you do not have to change the parameters so you see it's going up 4 scans this green bar here shows that it is still scanning you see it's 50% getting higher and after a while you see the green bar is gone that means the background scan is all done great so now you place some of the solid sample onto the platform alright make sure it covers and slowly rotate the knob so that it is right above your solid sample it should sit nicely on top okay. you need to screw it down so that it is secure but do not screw so hard until that the glass of the platform will break so rotate it gently secure it tighten it bit by bit control your strength alright so now it's secure not too hard remember be gentle okay now it's all good so now we label the experiment scanned this is sample 2C and on the left start sample measurement see the green bar shows up once more it tells you that it is scanning we're almost there and done see that very nice spectrum beautiful after you're done back to the sample holder you rotate the knob and screw it first the other direction so you need to loosen it bring it up and then rotate the knob to the right side do not make it go all the way back okay just 90 degrees will do and use a bit of tissue Kim wipe wipe it once get rid of all the solid on the platform as well on the scanning probe okay and then now dip it with some alcohol and do the same thing once more wipe onto the platform make sure it's all cleansed and on the scanning probe again be gentle all right so right now for liquid sample make sure that this is clean there's nothing there and we do a background scan so we continue with the next scan back to here measurement click the middle button start background measurement all right good so right now what you do is for the liquid sample we need a glass pipette or glass dropper pinch the bulb to imbibe some liquid just a bit will do because you need only a single drop a single drop will spread it will cover the whole surface of the scan please don't add too excessively you see it's all spreading very good For liquid sample, there's no need for you to rotate the knob.
just keep it in place as shown here. So after you are done with the background scan, just keep it there. You don't have to rotate the knob. There's no need for you to adjust the screw. So right now, just check that the resolution is the same, the number of scans, and then now, start sample scan. Alright, fast forwarded this. So you see, the graph in red is a spectrum for the liquid sample. So you see that, right, just now we play some drop of liquid, we got to clean it up. So first of all, you use a clean, clean wipe and wipe it off the liquid, and after that, you put some alcohol on the Kim wipe and then you wipe it again using some solvent to erase it off. Try to use ethanol, it is the least toxic among all the alcohol. So once you're done,